Hey, what's going on guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here and today we're going to be quickly looking at an application called Olive Office Premium. And I just previously just looked at the application, what it has and the features that it has. So, um, here's basically, I'll show you the main menu actually. You have uh, recent files, started files, local files stored on your local memory card cloud service. Uh, you could search files and then you check for updates. This is kind of the menu of the application. You also have just settings with uh, check for updates, feedback, screen orientation, and about the information, about the application. So this application as well consists of three um, like Microsoft uh, programs, well, Office programs. Uh, it has Word, Excel, PowerPoint, like most of the applications, uh, Office applications that we looked at. So let's go ahead and first check out the Word. So here is, I've noticed that the first thing when you click on it, it actually doesn't uh, allow you to type anything. You just got the zoom but I found out why this happens. So you wanna click the option button and it'll pop up a tab here. And the thing is, is uh, it's not, uh, the app wasn't in edit mode. As you could see now it is. So we could just start typing stuff now. It's very small font for some reason and we're gonna go ahead and try to fix this issue. So let's say you finish typing, you could go to view mode, which is actually pretty cool because it allows you to scroll better and you could zoom in on the text and stuff like that. Uh, well, maybe we zoomed out too much, that's why the text was small. So you could go back to edit mode and you could edit the text, you could, Sometimes people, I was reading the comments on the application, uh, like um, website you could call it, on Google Play. Uh, some people said that they had problems like popping up the keyboard. Like I, I don't have any issues with that, but <clears throat> if for some reason you do, you could just go to the menu and you press edit and you press toggle keyboard, pops up the keyboard, it's if you have problems with that. So we're gonna go back into edit, you could copy, paste, delete, select the text, start selection, and start selection like kind of like this. And once you've selected everything, you could um, format the text, the font. You could change the font. We'll see what kind of fonts this offers. Uh, so we have four fonts, which is. Um, quite a bit well it's fairly the same as the other ones except well technically you have three English fonts since the other ones like Chinese or something um, so we have size you could have font style we could change this to bold bold italicized uh, you can underline it with uh, you have different types of underlining which is pretty cool just select one for the hell of it uh, effects you have strike through superscript subscript I don't even know what this is outline okay so also that's pretty cool effects like that um, okay that's pretty cool that's something that I haven't seen in Kingsoft office or um, what was the other one called um, Office Suite Pro 6 Plus. So this is a feature that the other ones didn't really have is different type of uh, text features. So you could insert picture if you're doing kind of like a report type of um, assignment or whatever. And your view mode, you could go to top, you could zoom in and stuff like that. Once you're finished writing, you could just go to file and you could save, save as, select which location. 
you want to save it but we're going to discard changes we're not going to worry about this anymore so we're going to move on to uh my uh well mike keeps seeing ms uh we're going to go on to excel uh so excel is pretty cool it actually looks uh pretty nice i like how it looks on this um version of office uh kind of reminds me of um microsoft office excel uh one thing uh that i don't really know how to do on this one is insert a graph we got functions sheets and for sheets as you could see it doesn't really give you sheets at the bottom you could just keep scrolling and scrolling so found out that to switch sheets what you do is you press the menu and you go into i think it was view uh yeah and you go to you could select which sheet you want to go on to um you could also have full screen freeze i'm not really sure what that is don't, wa don't really want to do it just in case it interrupts my um review so so also you could edit start selection cut clear format delete uh pretty much uh, all the basic features i'm just really honestly not sure how to insert a graph function this uh, function has really yeah i have no idea how to insert a graph on this one but it's pretty straightforward with everything else like scrolling is smooth there's like no lag one thing i've noticed is sometimes when you scroll scroll to the left it sometimes scrolls down to or right um okay so we're going to powerpoint presentation um once again you have um the option menu which is critical for doing anything and you also have a top menu on this one that we didn't have in the previous um previous uh like documents or whatever so you could you have like previous next slide you could edit we're gonna edit you could delete current slide insert uh you could insert pictures you can make notes um file you go to file you could save create a new powerpoint um save as create uh, points um and there's an exit button here as well uh to insert pictures you go to i think it was um you go to more never mind you don't you go to i think it was outline copy insert blank slide i was somewhere here file news i looked at it um that's how you save uh, where is this i can't find it now oh well um there's a way i think to insert maybe I've been doing too many reviews today. So yeah, you got the zoom buttons, but uh I don't know this uh this one is a free version as well, so it's kind of like King Soft King Soft Office, which is a plus, but there's still some downsides. Some people have been I've seen in the comments complaining that there's lag and it crashes quite often and just stuff like that. So um yeah, so it's still a good application to pick up since it's free, but I'd probably go with Kingsoft Office. But who knows, maybe this application will run better on your phone than Kingsoft or any other Office application. Anyways, guys, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.